Happy Sunday everyone, hope you had a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Wrote Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now, if there's two things I employ you to do with your week next week, it's get this Latan Ibrahimovic and get this Takafusa Kubo. These objectives are both incredibly easy and fantastic cards. Latan unfortunately has 73 stamina and 47 balance, which goes against him, but I don't think it'll make him any less of an absolutely incredible card in game. Um, and Kubo just has phenomenal stats aside from 80 composure uh, and 76 reactions, which unfortunately aren't amazing. But honestly, from a winger, I don't see that being a huge problem. I think they're both fantastic cards and I highly recommend both of them being completed even if you don't use them, it's a 95 and a 94 rated card for free. Definitely do it. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the team. To start off with Waste's team, who says, uh, I've got 500k to make improvements, but I'm mainly looking for a CB. Is there anyone you could suggest? I think of any big upgrades for the future. Also, can you rate the team? The second pick is in-game. Uh, love the vids, bro. Hey, I appreciate it, man. So let's check it out. So you're saying you've got 500,000 coins to make improvements, and you want a rating. Now, first of all, Kubo. Nice. I love to see it. Um, I would say... Uh, let's have a look in game. So you you need a centre back. You're looking for a, a decent centre back, um, and you're looking for improvements. I think that front four is absolutely incredible. You got a decent midfield here. Wouldn't change much. I am wondering at left centre back the uh, ability of you getting team of the season Diego Carlos, who I really like as a player this year. Um, great strength, great pace. He's a bit out of your budget, unfortunately. Um, that was a player I would say to save up towards. Uh, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get to the coins, but I would say maybe save up towards Tots Diego Carlos and give you a great, you know, addition to your team, uh, a pretty decent improvement. Uh, you could also maybe um, play Ramos as your uh, left centre back in game and maybe start um, future stars Renan Lodi. As as your uh, uh, your left centre back, and you play maybe Ferland Mendy at right back and Renan Lodi at left back. He's only forty six k. Whilst you save up towards that Diego Carlos, uh, you know Mendy's got the five star weak foot, which will allow you to play him over at that right back spot. Renan Lodi looks like a really good card and probably still play pretty decently at left back. Um, he's not going to really cost you too much, and I think could be a pretty cost effective way of then saving up towards getting the top Diego Carlos. Uh, the rest of the team, though, that attack is absolutely incredible. I would really not change anything in it. Um, you know, obviously, you are playing Fernandez um, and uh, Allen off chemistry, which is disappointing, and Kubo, but uh, and um, Don Bele. That's quite a lot of plays off chem. Uh, I'm wondering if there is a, an effective way to get better chemistry with this side i don't think there is if you guys think of an effective way to get better chemistry please let me know in the comments down below and ways gonna check the comments and uh, and get a bit of help but in terms of rating though you've got a phenomenal team here i'm gonna give it a solid uh i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten and that that one that i've not given it is obviously uh to do with the left center back and see where you're gonna where you're going to go, really. Who you're going to go with. And also for the players of chemistry. The next one coming from Foot Trader. It would not be an I Rate Your Teams episode without Foot Trader in the episode. I swear to... Like, this guy gets in every single episode without fail. You guys are starting to post memes about him being in the episodes. It's quite funny to see, actually. Um, he said, uh, I proper hate icon packs. Uh, I've got 1.2 mil and it's all untradeable. Uh, and since last week, I've done 14 prime icons. I've got Pire, Shevchenko, Lineker, Vieri, Baresi, and Zagi, Shearer, Nakata, Keen, Nakata again, Roberto, Carlos, Van der Sar, Kaka, and Socrates. Any idea where to go next? And a rating, please. Yikes. I feel for you, man. That's unlucky. That's, that's really unlucky. There's nothing worse than getting a Brazil cam and getting Kaka uh, or, or, um, <laughs> or getting Socrates. Uh, this is a nice team. Uh, left mid, though, I think Kaka is a little bit wasted. I would not play Kaka at left mid. In fact, I wouldn't play Kaka at all in the setup. Uh, I'm wondering who you could go with here that would actually make much of an impact or a difference here. Um, I'm just thinking what what the best option you could go with here. I see in the comments, uh, Crawford's actually recommended Inform Mbappe, playing him off chem, uh, and then starting him as left centre mid, and then obviously in-game playing him at left mid. That wouldn't be a bad shout, uh, I think that would be a pretty decent option. I'm also thinking someone that I actually had a lot of fun with, and I know this is actually quite biased as a Man United fan, 
Uh, but someone I had a lot of fun with this year was Inform Martial. Playing him out left mid wouldn't be a bad shout. He's got good ball control and, and good finishing and things like that. And I think he's got uh, decent enough stats to play out on that left side. You could even maybe go for his UEL and play him off chemistry, um, who's got even better stats than the uh, initial card. Apart from dribbling, his dribbling's worse for some reason. I don't in entirely... Uh, no why he's dribbling and shooting that's a little bit strange but i think you could definitely go with maybe martial um the opportunities there are endless you've got 1.2 million coins you can go with any icon or any uh french player maybe you go with like a uh pires's moments card if you can afford him i don't actually know how much this card not pires sorry uh nedved i don't know why i thought pires uh sorry nedved uh maybe you could go with nedved's moments card uh, start him on chemistry and then play him at left mid. That could also work pretty well. Um, he's got the four-star skills and the five-star weak foot as well. A decent card. He's, he does lack in pace, unfortunately. And for left mid, that might not be amazing. But if you're good at hold at play and sort of holding the ball a little bit more, you probably find him a little bit more enjoyable uh, than just having someone with, with great pace that can run up and down the wing, in, uh, you know, all the time, basically. Uh, the next one coming from Bobby, who says, the tradables are Richarlison, Anderson, uh, De Jong, and Tostegan. I've got 200,000 coins for upgrades, and I'm willing to change anyone. Love the vids. Let's check it out. Why is Twitter? Why does Twitter do this, man? Twitter sometimes just makes it blurry. Um, this is a very interesting squad. For 200,000 coins, I think your next two upgrade points are Zanetti and, and Campbell. I'd actually say Zanetti is your first upgrade point. Honestly, a, a card that's better than uh, Zanetti, even at this stage of the game, I can't spell for some reason, is Nelson Semedo's headliner card. It's actually quite cheap right now as well um, at 93,000 coins. He actually dropped quite low. He dropped down to like 80k at one point, which is kind of crazy. Um, but this, K, this card at 93k uh, is a fantastic card still. He's got great... Uh, defensive stats and just great stats in general and would play way 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 better than, than that Zanetti card uh, I'd also say maybe um, for Campbell you could look to potentially again save up towards that Diego Carlos wouldn't be a bad shout um, even a normal Varane will probably play better than that baby Sol Campbell in game just my personal opinion the rest of the squad's great though uh, Richarlison's fantastic this year you've got really good wide cams Benzema as a central cam is not terrible to be fair um, Benzema's good at hold up play uh, I like the rest of the team a lot Next one coming from Matt, who says, Hi, Ryan. The second is in-game at the minute. and uh, uh, Sorry, in-game at the minute. And the second team is what I am thinking of getting. What would you do? Uh, Tevez, Salvio, Varane, and Larissa all untradeable. I've got just over 100,000 coins to work with. Uh, looking for any decent improvements. Loving the streams of the vids. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, there you go. There's a nice HD image for you. Okay, I like the perfect link with Salvio and, and, and Tevez. That is actually really cool. I'm a big fan of that. I'm just wondering, you would... Get no, you wouldn't. I was gonna say you get better chem putting. Uh, would you? No, you would not. My bad. Um, hmm. I'm just looking like I keep thinking. Oh, you can get back in with that. No, you can't. You you've actually got the best chem you possibly can here. I, I'm I'm I keep getting mistaken. Uh, this is a good setup though. I actually got that shapeshifter container one rare player pack this morning. Very interesting. Uh, won't be using it because I've got his team of the year, but I thought I'd share that information with you. Uh, I like this setup in game. This is really cool. And this is what you say you're thinking of playing. Uh, and then in game, you're thinking you're playing that. Hmm, what do I think is better? Uh, Modric at Cam or Modric? I would say this is a better option. Modric for me just doesn't possess amazing stats for a Cam as opposed to a center mid who's fantastic. Um, so I would say probably play this setup in game um, and play with this team. I think this team is definitely uh, the better option, mate. It's a, a very nice team. I like it a lot. Uh, next one coming from Surface Prawns, who says, uh, this is my team. I am working towards 94 Bruno. Everyone in the squad is untradeable. I've got 100,000 coins. Any improvement, keep up the good work. I appreciate it, my dude. Um, let's check this out. Okay, very interesting. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I know, like... A lot of you guys say having a goalkeeper on eight chemistry makes no difference. And to be fair, I don't think it actually does. But it still, for some reason, triggers my OCD ever so slightly whenever I see a goalkeeper on eight chem. Uh, when you could go with Tostegan, who is easily one of the best goalkeepers in the game and get full chemistry on the goalkeeper. Um, just just some food for thought there. Uh, the rest of the team is is really nice. I'm wondering, though, um, playing Alwar as a wide cap is not the worst option in the world. But I think you've got a pretty defensive uh midfield here i think that our was a little bit defensive i know he's not defensive minded technically um but sometimes when players have elevated defensive stats you know good defending um good physical good good like defensive awareness things like that they sometimes play a little bit more defensive and stay back a little bit more you don't find them getting into the box and stuff i'm wondering if that's going to hinder you ever so slightly um the rest of this this team is fantastic though it is a really really good setup in game uh, i do like it an awful lot and i wouldn't really change anything else about it you know um it's a very very nice team and then it's one coming from finn 
Uh, she says, everyone is untradeable, and I want some help on getting this team into full chemistry. I have 60,000 coins. Oh, I see your problem here. Um, realistically, if you want to play all of these guys, you aren't getting full chemistry at all. You're going to have to sacrifice at least four players here to get full chemistry, I think. Um, it's definitely possible. It's doable. It will just be very difficult. I mean, first things first, like, you'll get better chemistry by just swapping Kovacic and Messi if you're going to start that. Uh, I would say probably best off starting maybe a 4-3-3 um, or a 4-3-3-2 uh, with a CDM. Playing Messi as your CDM, playing Kovacic as your right centre mid um, and maybe playing Endon Bele as your left centre mid. Uh, starting Bruno up top uh, and then playing Perisic and Mane on the wings. Uh, that could be a possibility. Um, you're really going to struggle to get this on full chemistry though. If any of you guys in the comments want to help him out, I would say... Uh, I would take out Kovacic in this setup to get it on full chemistry or Perisic because um, the rest of it is just fantastic. Uh, but I think it's definitely possible. You do have a very, very offensive midfield here as well. Uh, I will say that. So maybe you want to work on getting someone a bit more defensive in there. Maybe like a Vidal or something. That wouldn't be a terrible option. You also have Ryan Kent on the bench. So therefore, we're going to the next team. <laughs> uh, next one coming from Ashton, who says, uh, What's up, Haber? The second pick is what I play in game. I've got around 100,000 coins. We'll probably only go to the 89 Mendy with the 91 Bruno. The whole team's untradeable. Any suggestions? Keep it the sick vids and streams. Hey, thanks very much, bro. Uh, let's check it out. Um, well, first of all, that DRB is going up to 95. That's incredible. Uh, this team is is very very nice. I would say you're genuinely your weakest point in this team once you get the 94 Bruno or the 91 Bruno. Um, I, I think you can go to the 92. The 92 again, you don't need wins to get to the 92, so you're probably better off going to the 92 um, and getting that look, even more a bit of a boost, the five star weak foot and stuff. Uh, I would say yeah, your your weakest point here is actually Puyol. I would say um, obviously you don't have a huge amount of coins, but you can save up to maybe like a mid Cannavaro or a mid Komen who would genuinely be better than Puyol. Puyol for me is just too clunky. Uh, he's too slow. Just disappointing in game, in my opinion. Very disappointing. Um, the next one coming from Ivan, uh, who says, what's up, paper? This is my team. I've got 1 million is the max budget I can get. Uh, can you give me a rating of potential upgrades? Keep it the great work. No foot champions, road to glory. Why do you not play foot champions, I may ask? Unless you're just obviously incredibly busy uh, over the weekends. I don't see the point in not playing for champions. And also, why is that badge? CH in a yellow heart. That's interesting. I've never seen that one before. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I would say this team is fantastic. First of all, I like it a lot. Uh, I like that you've got literally every single objective card bar the 94 Bruno. That's very impressive. I like that a lot. Uh, this team is, is incredible in its own regard. Rating out of 10, genuinely this team gets a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, the only, the only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 for me personally, uh, is just that you can improve on, you know, the likes of that, that Alexandro, I mean, you know, chemistry wise, you could swap over Mendy and Militao and get yourself team of the season Hernandez. Uh, I think Hernandez is better than, than Alexandro personally. Uh, I'd also say Vidal's great, but that defense, uh, so that midfield already, uh, is is quite defensive. I think you can play Modric as a CDM and then get yourself a different cam. Maybe a cam you go with the likes of a... I don't know how much shapeshifter Messi is these days. I feel like he's actually come down in price uh, by quite a considerable amount. He's about a million coins flat. So if you can get to that million coin mark after buying Hernandez, go with shapeshifter Messi as your central cam. Um, and I think that could work really, really well as well. But apart from that, the, the rest of the team is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's really, really good. Next one coming from Alex. who says, my trader was our uh, Saint or Saint Maximin, I'm guessing. Uh, Trent, I've got about 500k for upgrade. Second picture is in game. 4 2 3 one sometimes too. Let me know your thoughts and keep it the great work. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, it is Saint Maximin. Uh, this is a good setup, man. This is a really good setup. I like this a lot. Whoa, hang on. Um, I play the 4 2 3 one sometimes too. That's a madness. You guys can't really see it. Let me, let me quickly remove my overlay. That is absolutely mad. That formation in game, you must honestly, like, control the game uh, in most of your games. That's crazy. Well, fair play for that. Um, honestly, out of 10, I give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. And I just appreciate that you're playing something completely different to the map. Obviously, you say you play 4 2 3 one sometimes too. And that's fair play. Um, but I respect it a lot. Uh, now, usually I would only check out full HD images, but I am going to check out Luke's team here because, you know, it is, it's visible um, to, to some degree. Um, 
So if you guys, honestly, if you can't send in screenshots, it's really easy to send in screenshots. You know, you can just find out on Google how to do it. But if you want to be uh, either lazy or you just you can't figure it out, uh, I will check out some that are like this with good color depth and look HD. Uh, so let's check out uh, Luke's team. He says, I play a 40 fraud in game. Uh, the Lamb, Del Piero, Ram. Uh, sorry, Mane on the Lamb, Del Piero, Ram. Bruno, Nangolan, CDMs. Okay. I have 500k to spend. Uh, don't mind selling Lineker. If you uh, have any suggestions, give the good content. I mean, if you get 94 Brood, I can I can understand it and I can respect it. Uh, definitely. I think you're playing a lot of plays off chem here for really no reason. Uh, you're starting on 95 chem. It's just unnecessary. I would say for this setup, uh, a good way you could probably get full chemistry would be um, over at this left center back spot. Is that is Militao out forever? I want to, if Ed Air Militao is out forever, that's going to help you out massively. Uh, yeah, he never expires. I would start grinding towards Militao and get yourself Militao as his left center back spot. It's going to sort out a lot of your chemistry issues along the defense. Uh, you know, Varane gets full chemistry. Uh, Ed Air Militao will get full chemistry. It then only be Nangalan and Bruno and Mane off chemistry. Uh, I say keep uh, Lineker. He's fantastic. Um, I'd also say. I don't know about Bruno's CDM, but obviously if you're playing super offensive in, in, in the DM spot, then fair play. Uh, you've had really good reds, though. I do respect the red uh, the red pick back look. Uh, next one coming... Okay, well, there you go. Uh, Tom, uh, I have two teams I can use. Please rate. Brother, all you've done is sent me your, your moments hullet in the pack. I mean, fair enough on moments hullet. That is a GG. That's an incredible pack pool. But that's all you've sent me. <laughs> um... <laughs> That is that's a hundred percent deliberate as well. That's definitely just definitely flexing right there. Um, GG on the pack, for man. That's incredible. Uh, the next one coming from Dave, who says, uh, "This is my team. I have five hundred k for upgrades, and everything in the team is untradeable. I'm looking for a replacement for Bruno, and then drop Firmino into the Rams position. I uh, love the video, the good work. Hey, appreciate it, man. Uh, honestly, I think a fantastic replacement for Bruno. Although this, this for some reason, is super blurry. Uh, fantastic replacement for Bruno. Honestly, you want my honest opinion." 94 Bruno. There you go. No one else replaces Bruno. He's incredible. Uh, this is a great team. That Marlon Saar at centre-back as well looks absolutely phenomenal. He's definitely a player I will be getting and probably using uh, for the foreseeable future as well. He looks absolutely insane. But yeah, this is a really good setup. Uh, I honestly wouldn't change really anything else apart from maybe 91 Socrates. Just, just trying out a different cam there maybe or something like that. Uh, I would say replace Socrates before you replace Bruno personally. That's just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the team is definitely really solid. Uh, we got Calvano de Great's team and then uh, Relic's and we're going to end it off there. So Calvano de Great, who says, hey, second pick is what I play in game. Um, I have 170k for improvements and I love the vids, mate. I appreciate it, dude. Ooh, this is a good setup. I like this a lot as well. Uh, just by looking at it, looking at some really good players. This formation as well uh, is crazy wide and it's so difficult to defend against. One thing I will say, though... Bruno up top is very interesting. Obviously, if you're enjoying him, you're enjoying him. I honestly think you'd probably actually be better off with Bruno as a left or right mid and then playing one of the left or right mids up top. Uh, and the reason being is mainly because I feel like you want sometimes a bit more hold up play on the on the wings and the wide play. And then up top, you just want sometimes you just want a massive burst of pace. Obviously, Bruno's got mad pace, but just my opinion, uh, you know, and it might not be the right opinion for you. Uh regardless though i think they'll all play fantastic wherever you play them and it's a really really good setup and i wouldn't really change anything for 170k and the last one for the episode is going to be from relic who says i play the same in game and i don't know who i should try out and replace um i replace joe for pope i have a hundred thousand coins you replace joe for pope uh i don't know who i should try um and replace joe for pope joe for pope you mean joe hart you don't have a you don't have a got if you mean Joe Hart, then fair enough. Um this is a cool setup as well. Obviously, just improving your, your Bruno to a better version of Bruno would be really cool as well. I would say uh I would change your right center back. Definitely. You could go for um Moments Ramos. I'm pretty sure he's out forever as well. And you know, he's quite expensive, but you can start grinding towards him. Uh, and and you know upgrade packs and things can help you towards getting that even further. He'll also get full. Uh, he'll he'll get better chemistry, not full chemistry, but he'll get like seven chemistry as opposed to four. Um, but apart from that, I wouldn't really change much else. Uh, you want oh you want to try and replace Joe Gomez and Pope? Okay, uh, I read it correctly now. I do apologize. So yeah, I get Ramos at right centre back and then left centre back. I would probably save towards VVD in goal. 
uh, Allison maybe or De Gea, whichever one you want to go with. Um, but the rest of the team is really good. Uh, how is that Trezeguet? That's one card that I've never actually played against, I don't think. I genuinely don't remember ever playing against him. It's a very interesting one. Uh, but that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new around here. If you have any constructive feedback, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to join the Discord so you know when I'm recording these and get involved in all the episodes. Much love, and I'll see you guys later.